introduction hello students look at this picture the picture shows that a boy is playing cricket do you know how long the bat is we use toothbrush for brushing our teeth do you know how long the toothbrush is today let us learn to measure the length of different things objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to find the length of objects measure the length with the help of a scale friends look at this picture this is a bamboo there are two ends of a bamboo to measure the length of bamboo we measure it from one end to another look at this pencil box the length of pencil box is from its one end to another look at this computer screen can you find out the length of computer screen yes the length of computer screen is from one end to another in ancient times the length of object was measured by using our hand arm or simply by our feet but these methods do not give accurate length later on ruler and measuring tape were used to find out accurate length of the objects look at this picture this is a ruler or commonly known as scale it is used to measure the length of small objects like pencil pencil box eraser photo frame and mirror Look at this ruler. Its margins show many divisions. Each division is equal to 1 cm. The numbers are written from 0 to 15. From 0 to 5, we get 5 cm. From 0 to 11, we get 11 cm. From 0 to 15, we get 15 cm. Did you know how to measure the length of a matchstick with the help of ruler? Place the matchstick near the ruler as its one end should be at zero. The number written is five. Therefore, it is five centimeters long. Now let us measure a pencil sharpener. Place the sharpener near a scale as its one end is at zero. The other end of sharpener is at three. Therefore, the length of this sharpener is three centimeters. Observe the image carefully, and click the correct answers. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. A ruler helps us to measure accurate length of an object.